Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is our 39th tutorial of Power BI. In the previous class, we have studied about role level security in Power BI desktop. I hope guys you are clear with the concept of role level security. And in today's class, we will learn about some remaining features of Power BI desktop. So guys, after completion of this Power BI desktop classes, we will move towards Power BI services where I will tell you the basic thing that how you can create account and how we can use the features of Power BI services. So let's start the class guys without wasting the time. So let's go to the report page. And in home section, we have covered all the features of Power BI desktop. We have also covered this publish report option. After completion of report, we can publish our report to Power BI services which we have seen in previous class that how we publish this report into Power BI services. So let's go to the insert tab guys. And here we can see we have some AI visuals which is artificial intelligence visuals. From here you guys can create a new page. You can also create a new page from here. So I will cover this all AI visuals in separate playlist. So these are the power platform guys. These are the separate tools of Microsoft like Power App, Power Automate and Paginated Report. So these are the different set of tools which we will not cover under this Power BI tutorials. So we have already know how we use this text box which you can use with the help of bookmarks and you can also play with separately. So under this button section one more interesting feature guys which I would like to tell you which is navigation. So for using this option, let me add one more page here and I will drag and drop into beginning. So I will rename this page, let's say topics. Now I click this button option and go to navigator. And now I go here which is page navigator and click here. And now we guys can see we can create multiple button of these pages. Let me resize this. Now go to the formatting part. From here guys you can change the shape. Let me click on this shape and you can select like pentagon. And we have different shapes here guys. So you guys can play with your shapes. So guys I would like to tell you why this navigator button is useful. Let's say if you want to go to this directly to the comparison page. So you just simply need to click this comparison with the help of control button. So we can see it directly take you to the comparison page. So guys page navigation is really useful for navigation. Now back to the cover page. And in format option you guys can also change the style, color or anything. Let's say I'll take it as yellow color. See. You can also change the background from here. And if you want to change the background of this box, so go to the fill option and you can change the color from here. Yellow is not looking good, so let me convert into white and let me increase the size. So, in this way, guys, you can use this navigator. Now the next feature is image. So I will click here and browse image. So here is the image guys. You can resize the image. So in this way guys you can add any image. So we have one more feature here which is add a spark line. So I will show you how it works. So I am removing this visual. And adding one table visual here. And under table visual, I am adding customer names. And I will also add here products. And last, I will add sales. And let me increase the size.
now i will add spark line here so now you can see this option is enabled so let me click on this option and now it is pop up one dialog box so here it is asking y axis summarization and x axis so under y axis i will put product because i want to make spark line on the basis of product So here we can see it is a text guys we can only calculate count or district count our summarization is count under x axis i will select the sales from the sales table so here is the sales guys and create so we can see our spark line has added on the basis of product so now i will add one more spark line this time i will take Sales from sales table. And now you can see the aggregators, sum, average, minimum, because this is an integer value, guys. So we can calculate sum, average, minimum, maximum, count, anything. So here I am taking sum. Now go to the sales table. And again, I am selecting the sales column. And see, guys, spark line has added. You can go to the formatting tab and you can play with the images. So, under formatting tab, we have an option of spark line. You can change the line into column. See, guys, you can also change the color from here and increase the width. And here is one more option which is marker. So you can play with colors of markers. And here is the option of marker. So you can also explore yourself. You can also change the sign of spark lines. You can see guys. So guys, we have multiple formatting options here. So you guys can play with yourself. So we have covered all the features under insert tab now go to the modeling tab so under modeling tab we have covered manage relationship in data modeling video and these are the measures guys which we have already covered now comes to the next option which is new parameter so we have already covered what is parameter now comes to these option which is manage roles and view as so we have covered this topic with the help of row level security Now let me remove this visual. Now comes to this Q and A part. So guys, this is also useful in Power BI. It's an artificial intelligence visual where you can ask any question related to this report, like a Google search engine. So click here, suggest question. Now here we can ask any question, like I want to ask the highest sale of this report. So I will simply type in a layman language, highest sale. So guys, we can see it is displaying 14K, which is the highest sale of our report. So in a similar way, if I want to see the lowest sale, so I will write here lowest sale. The 400 is the lowest sale in our report. So guys, in this way, you can ask any question. Now I want to see highest sale in the month of March. So I will write So we can see here 11700 is the highest sale in March month which is done by S07. You can also cross check guys. So go to the table here and if I filter on the month of March So we can see 11700 is the highest sale in the month of March. Let me clear the filter from here and go back to the first page. So in this way, guys, we can use this Q and A. So these two options has not much useful. This is a language setting, guys. You can change the option here. Now comes to the view tab. So from here guys, we can change the themes which we have already discussed. 
now comes to the another feature which is page view so under this page view option we can change the page setting let's say fit to the width see the page size has increased now click on this actual size see guys so in this way you can change with the page setting and this is the option of mobile layout so if you click this option it will show you the mobile layout so now comes to the grid line so if you click this grid line check box so you can see grid lines has appear here now it's snap to grid so snap to grid feature is automatically detect the objects in your report let's say if i go to a sales analysis table and if i click here snap to grid so it align the object in your report so this option has not much use and now comes to this so let's say this is a visual guys so i can move it here there and even i can move any visual from here and there now if you click this lock object option so you guys can see i cannot move any visual so guys in this way you can also lock your objects in your report this is a filter pane guys so you can play with the filter from here if i click here so you guys can see filter pane has disabled so in this way you can enable or disable the filter pane so now come to this feature which is bookmark so guys we have already covered the bookmark and selection pane if you guys have not seen this video so i would suggest go and watch 36 tutorial where i have covered bookmarks and selection pane now comes to this performance analyzer so with the help of this performance analyzer we can track the record and analyze the performance so let me start the recording from here and now i will move this visual now i will refresh the data from here and stop recording so guys whatever the steps i am performing here all steps are recorded here and we can check what things taking what time to complete the whole process so in this way guys we can simply use this performance analyzer now guys let's move towards the last topic of our class which is sync slicer so i will show you how this feature is useful so let's understand this concept with practical so let's say guys we have a slicer here and let me copy this visual and now i am going to this detail page and paste this visual here so once i paste it here so dialog box has pop up and it's asking for sync visual or don't sync so first play with this sync visual so let's say if i select here anjit roy in this slicer so we can see the whole page is filtered with anjit roy and now if i go back to the previous page which is sales analysis then here we can see the page is also filtered with anjit roy so sync slicer basically means if i click on sync option then other page will also filter from we have copied the slicer and now let's understand don't sync so let me remove the slicer from here and uncheck anjit roy now again i am copying the slicer and paste it here and this time i will click on don't sync so this time i will select rakshit jain so we guys can see the whole page is filtered with rakshit jain and if i go here in sales analysis page so there is no impact on this page so this page has not filtered with rakshit jain so guys we have studied many topics in this tutorial 
so guys only few things are left and i will take one or two classes to cover this power bi desktop after that we will start power bi services so i hope guys you have enjoyed this session and you are learning power bi easily so if you guys like this series please do comment like subscribe and share in your network we will cover up each and everything about this power bi course we have lot of content guys in our upcoming tutorial i will add scenarios dax visuals and many more things so i will definitely try to make you expert under this course and last thing guys you can also follow me on linkedin for interview preparation paid training and full course power bi paid training thank you so much guys and don't forget to like subscribe and share thank you so much guys